The Chicago Blackhawks stripped it down for a shot at Connor Bedard, and they got him. Now, Seth Jones will see all the minutes, and if Bedard transitions as well as we think, Jones will grab more than his fair share of helpers. A return to the 50 plus point zone is very doable. It's incredible what a year can do. Connor Brown was limited to just four games last season due to injury. Now he finds himself in a position to work with Connor McDavid or Leon Dreisaitl. He won't have a shot at the top power play unit, but he could still push for 50 plus points, skating with either of those two at even strength. Someone is going to have to start the majority of the games for the LA Kings this season. And we're betting Phoenix Copley ends up winning the crease. He had 24 wins in 36 games last season. The Kings are favored to not only be a playoff team, but a contender, if they can get the goaltending. You could be picking up a top 15 netminder way down the board here. Yaku Verana has a unique opportunity in St. Louis. If he can stay healthy, there's a spot on the top line and top power play unit that could be his. There's major upside here. If he can stay healthy. Did we mention he needs to stay healthy? Barrett Hayton come up began late last season. A move up the lineup resulted in him finishing the year with 11 goals and 21 points in the final 23 games. And it's all thanks to the chemistry he had with Clayton Keller. Arizona's would be a better team this year, and there's another jump coming for Hayton. <laughs> 